Thomas Baldrick here at ASCO 2015 for Oncology TV. Delighted to have with us Dr. Ian Flynn. He's here to talk about a phase one open label dose escalation study of the dual sick jack inhibitor sertralatinib in patients with relapsed refractory B cell malignancies. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you can remember what this one's about. You seem to have so many uh, posters and abstracts here at ASCO. Oh, absolutely. This is, uh, this is a great, uh, great study looking at a new uh, drug that has a dual inhibition of two different pathways, both the sick and JAK, in patients with uh, lymphoma and CLL. Why did you feel the need to, to do this study? Yeah, we're really excited about the molecule and the pathways. We've known for a while, and, and there's been a lot of news here and in previous Congresses about the, uh, the inhibition of the B-cell receptor pathway, which sick is part of that. Um, now, the, the JAK is a, a se totally separate pathway, and so what we're looking to is see if we can increase the efficacy by an inhibition of two different pathways that are important in the, in the proliferation and survival of uh, malignant uh, B-cells. So at this HASCO, you have an update on the first in-human study in this line of work, right? That's right, that's right. We've been, uh, we've been doing this work for um, a little over a year now. We've been dose escalating up with this, um, with this uh, with sertralatinib. And uh, what we're finding now is that we've um, been able to hit the pharmacodynamic endpoint in the sense that we're, we know that we're inhibiting sick, we know that we're inhibiting uh, JAK, we're at those, those levels, and now we're starting to see efficacy in terms of responses, and so that's really, really gratifying. How about toxicities? That's actually a great story, too. And so far, at least at the dose levels that we are, we haven't seen much in the way of, of toxicity. Uh, so we're not seeing um, a lot of um, off-target uh, issues. And so that, I think, is going to be really important in the long run if we're able to keep people on this medication without all the uh, off-target toxicities, and that's going to be important for the further development of this drug. So what is the future timeline, if you will, for this? Yeah, excellent question. So um, I think we're really very close to, we're probably not going to go up too much higher in doses. I don't know that we're going to go up to a maximum tolerated dose, but we're going to go to a, a optimal biologically active dose. So probably another dose level or, or two in the next you know, three months, and then we're going to expand out and in, with, at the doses and try to get a better understanding of efficacy over the next year. Very good. Thank you for stopping by, Sherrod. I know you're a busy man. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.